Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna review a few trades that I took today using the nine EMA strategy. There's gonna be two examples of winners and one example of a loser, something that I cut really quickly and hopefully showing you this loser will give you an idea of how quick I cut these losses as soon as it doesn't look right using that nine EMA strategy. So first winner is on Coinbase. We talked about this in the pre-market live stream, moving up higher in the morning due to that crypto pump. And it was really, really beautiful movement today on Coinbase. So I'll show you that first nine EMA play. And then the second one is a big winner on Nvidia using the same nine EMA strategy as well. The loss is on Tesla, a really quick loss. So let's go ahead and review those trades. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully it gives you some education. If you enjoy the video after watching it, make sure to press that like button for me. It really helps out the videos. It really helps out the channel continue to grow. Subscribe to the channel for some more videos. I live stream every single morning from 8 a.m. to around 8.45 come check that out and press that bell notification so that you're alerted every single time that I go live and every single time that I post. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this. The first thing we're gonna look at is Coinbase, then we're gonna look at Nvidia, and then we'll look over that Tesla losing trade. So jumping into the charts here, here's the one minute chart on Coinbase today. This morning, we were getting a move higher in the pre-market. Uh, so we had this move higher in the pre-market right here, a little bit of a pump. We saw Riot, we saw Mara, we saw MicroStrategy, and we saw a move higher on the cryptos because of the ARK uh, Bitcoin ETF that is supposedly coming out. So we got a little bit of a move higher on these moves, on these stocks that are correlated to Bitcoin. So Coinbase was one that I definitely wanted to watch. 250 was a crucial level. If you go out to the four hour, go out to the daily, you will see that level. I'll quickly go to it just to show you real quick. Uh, here is the four hour chart on Coinbase. And here is the 250 resistance that I was watching. So boom, 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 multiple times of resistance. And I was looking to see if it could break above that today. So the 250 resistance was on my chart. Now in the morning, we pumped right over that level with some really strong momentum. And that is why I was interested in playing Coinbase here. So here are one minute candles and let's go ahead and jump into where I got into this trade. So we got that push move, the, the first push higher. I did not get into it then. I like to wait for the first pullbacks in the morning. I don't like to chase these morning moves. So we got a big move higher that confirmed, in my opinion, it confirmed some upside. It confirmed that I'm going to be looking for a pullback to the nine EMA. Sit back, relax, wait for the pullback. If it doesn't come, don't get into the trade. It's as easy as that. Wait for the pullback. It comes almost nine out of 10 times. So here's the pullback right here, a four minute pullback right here to the nine EMA absolutely beautiful right here to a, to the nine. Now, what else did it do? It flagged down to the nine EMA, nine EMA as well. So we got a nine EMA hold and we got a flag pattern. And as soon as I saw that breakout, I was in this trade. So right here, I bought two Coinbase 255 calls, which is basically at the money uh, for $6.04 and $6.34. So I added those at six, uh, 937 and 937 and 10 uh, 10 seconds. So that is right here at the beginning of this candle. The reason I bought there is because we held the nine EMA. We had a nice doji candle. You can see a lot of support here at the nine. And then we started to break that flag and I got into this trade right here. Very easy. At this point, my stop loss is right below the nine. If we pull back below the nine, I get out of this trade and I move on. If we hold it, great. I hold this trade and I let this thing ride higher. So we got in there at around 9.37 a.m., nice push higher. I'm selling one contract here at $7, so instantly up a dollar a contract at 9.37.58, so only 58 seconds in that first trade, and I got a dollar a contract. Now, I'm a little upset because I didn't scale into this one right away. I scaled into it too late, and I did start to lose a little bit on the trade uh, just because I scaled in a little bit too late. I would have liked to take my full five contract position here at this breakout, but I was being a little bit conservative. So we had uh, one sold here at 937. So I did sell on this first move higher. I let the next one ride a little bit longer. And instead of selling that last one, I thought this looked really strong and I wanted to add, uh, add my full position. So I added five contracts uh, right at 941 and that ended up being a very bad ad uh, because it ended up pulling back on me right here. So I did go ahead and sell my full position here at 942 on this sign of weakness at 942, still closing the trade for a nice winner. I'll pop up the PL for you guys to see. 
So about a 200 to 250 dollar winner just looking at this 9 EMA flag. What I could have done better on this trade, in my opinion, I could have got into my full position right away, right here on this flag breakout, and it would have been about a two to three dollar contract win, which would have been about a five to a thousand, a five hundred to a thousand dollar winner. So a little bit off with the way I was scaling into this, but the the trade, the analysis, the bull flag breakout, the uh, the 90 and May hold was perfect in my opinion. A very nice entry here at 937. So that's all I was looking for here on Coinbase. Now, the second trade, I think I did a much better job uh, on Coinbase getting my full position and scaling out when I thought I start, started to see some weakness. So the next trade uh, was right here at 947. I grabbed some 260 calls at 947 um, for $5.33 per contract. So that is right here on this candle higher. Why did I get into this move right here? Well, we consolidated, we moved lower, we held the 9 EMA right here, and right when I started to see a push higher off the 9 EMA, I got in my full uh, full size position, five contracts at $5.33, held this for two minutes until 9.49, which is right here, started to see a little bit of weakness, and I took about 70 cents per contract with five contracts, just about $350 win right there on Coinbase. This was just another example of a little bit of a flag, another breakout off the 9 EMA, and right here were my entries, two absolutely beautiful entries in the morning here on Coinbase, taking my profits and moving on to another trade. You know, the one thing, like I said, that I wish I did better was I wish I took my full position down here at the breakout instead of taking it a little bit overextended past the 9 EMA. So something to learn about, something for me to improve on, and hopefully for you guys watching this, a learning lesson that you guys can see. So those are my first two trades on Coinbase, really great entries. Both of these were called out in the in the Discord. So of course, if you guys want to trade live with me every single day, you can join that. There's a link down below. Now let's go ahead and jump into the NVIDIA winner, which was my biggest winner of the day. All right, guys, so here is NVIDIA. Here's the one minute chart, and here are my trades that I took today. So I got into pretty big size here on NVIDIA. I was very confident in this trade. I wanted to scale up, get a nice winner. I was very confident in the 9 EMA. The NASDAQ was looking great at the time that I bought that I bought this uh, this call option. So I really was confident in this play. So the first thing that I was looking at, we saw NVIDIA scale uh, start to move down intraday. We had a nice inverse head and shoulders here on uh, on NVIDIA intraday. So look at this right here, little inverse head and shoulders. That is a sign of a reversal pattern. So I liked that and I started to watch NVIDIA very closely after seeing that inverse head and shoulders, also near support, but also a very nice reversal pattern here on NVIDIA. So I saw that, I was interested in the stock. Now, we moved higher. I did not catch this flag breakout. This was a very nice flag breakout right here. So I'm gonna zoom in for us to see this a little bit closer. And there was a really, really nice flag breakout right here on NVIDIA. It held the nine EMA right there, held the nine flag breakout. This would have been a beautiful trade on NVIDIA, almost six candles straight up there. So really nice breakout. Now I didn't catch that one. The one that I caught was this flag that formed right here. So another flag that formed here on NVIDIA, a little bit choppy by the nine, but overall I was happy with the way it was holding. And I went ahead and I got in one at 1044. So I got my first trade here at 1044 on this move higher, got in five contracts at $10 and 62 cents. And then at 1046, which is this candle right here, I got in five more contracts. Now the reason I added to this was because this push higher off this 9 EMA confirmed upside to me. That confirmed the upside and the NASDAQ at the same time was moving higher. So I was very confident that we would see another push here on Nvidia after breaking this flag, after holding the 9 EMA beautifully. So I added five more there. I had 10 contracts, so almost $10,000 in this trade. So it was quite a bit. Uh, but you know, I was finger on the trigger. If I saw any signs of weakness, I'm out of this trade for a quick loss. But what happened? It was a great trade and about, uh, just as about, what is that, six, seven minutes? So about seven minutes after, I sold one contract for 1242. So that's about $2 per contract. Uh, that's So that is about a $1,000 win on that first contract. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so $2 per contract on five contracts, that's about a $1,000 win. So at 1053, which was right here on this first sign of weakness, I got out. Once I saw this little doji candle, I saw some weakness near these highs. 
I was getting out taking profits for $2 a contract. The next one I got out was at 1055, and that was right here after I saw us break below the 9 EMA. So you guys see this big wick below the 9 EMA, I'm taking my profits right there. As soon as I see weakness, I am taking my profits. I don't care if it spikes back higher. I don't care if it retests and moves higher once again. All I know is that at this point, I was up about $1,300 on this trade, and I am taking those profits every single day of the week. So a beautiful flag breakout, 9 EMA hold. Got in with a little bit of size because I was pretty convicted on this trade. And you guys can see I got about $2 per contract, a little bit more on... Uh, on this entry here. So a little bit a little bit more than $2 a contract and about uh, just about a 13, I think 13 to $1,400 winner. I will pop up the P&L for you guys to see. And again, with these P&Ls that you guys are seeing, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter where I'm going to update my P&Ls there every day. I want to get a little bit more into the Twitter game. So feel free to follow me there, or you can also follow me on Instagram. Both links will be down below. But overall, an awesome trade, two awesome flag breakouts, nine EMA holds, really good entries. Very happy with this NVIDIA trade. So guys, last but not least, let's go over this Tesla loser. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. It was a $200 loser, which you know what? In the grand scheme of things, the day was still very, very green for me. So I am still happy that I took my loss where I did, because if I didn't, this would have got a lot uglier. So I want to show you why I took my loss on this nine EMA trade and why I just wanted to walk away from this trade. So First off, something that we need to know is that Tesla was very choppy today. The price action was really, really bad, a lot of chopping around. So in the first place, I was a little uncomfortable with this trade, but I thought that I could get some continuation on this Tesla move. So this was right around when I took that NVIDIA trade. I took those, those profits on NVIDIA, and I was watching to see if Tesla could follow suit where NVIDIA was spiking higher. So we had this nice move higher off the lows on Tesla holding that 9 EMA. Um, I'm actually going to delete, let me delete these other ones just to make this a little bit more clear for you guys. So here's the 9 EMA, right? Uh, that's a little big. So here is the 9 EMA on Tesla. We were getting a nice hold. Uh, hold here, push higher. And then I was looking for the next pullback right here. And I was looking to see if we could break out some sort of flag pattern right here. Now, what happened was we actually broke out of the flag and I was very, uh, very comfortable in the trade, but we got a very quick rejection on Tesla. So the first trade was right here, 1042. That was right on this candle right here that you guys can see. Now, why did I get into that? I saw these wicks that were wicking up at the 9 EMA. I like that. That, that confirms that there is some support to the downside. So when I saw Tesla move higher out of this flag, you can see this wick moved up. I was getting into this trade and I was looking for this breakout of this flag and a continuation move past these highs. Now, what happened was a nasty rejection right below the 9 EMA. You can see the next candle closed below the 9 EMA. And I was quickly out of this position about 20 seconds later for a $200 loser. So the reason I got out was because for me personally, my strategy is a quick move off the 9 EMA and a continuation. I want to see those quick moves. I want to be at I want to be in as close to uh, right before the breakout occurs. I don't want to be sitting through a potential chop fest like we are seeing here on Tesla. I don't want to sit through that. I want to get in on the 90 May bounce and sell it as it moves higher. If I see any weakness, anything that turns me off, I want to get out of it and I want to look for another trade. So this is an example of where I saw that breakout. We had that flag breakout. It was it ended up being a really nasty rejection breaking below 9 EMA, and I just took my quick loss there. Small losses, you know, don't add up as much as these massive losses that if you take, you know, a $1,000 loss, $2,000 loss, those are difficult to make back. A $200 loss, I'm okay with that. My risk tolerance is enough to take that loss and try to find another trade to make it back. Or even if that's just the loss that I take for the day, I know that the next day I can make that back. So this quick loss is a good example of when, you know, price action goes wrong, when Tesla does something crazy like wicks up and then gets really harshly rejected. So there is an example of my losing trade on Tesla. Overall, still a great day. These trades all called out in the Discord chat, including, including the losing trade. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm transparent. I tell you guys everything that I'm taking and it was another great day in the in the chat. So guys, those are my trades for today. Coinbase, Tesla, and Nvidia, all using the 9 EMA strategy. You can see that quick loss on Tesla. It did not look right, and I just dumped out of it. Nvidia, nice flag pattern breakout. Coinbase, two awesome flag patterns 
that I took advantage of today. As long as this momentum stays in the market, as long as the trends continue to move higher, you know, the 9 EMA strategy is a great strategy. When we start to see some choppiness, when we start to see really slow days, that's when you need to have the self-control to realize that it's not the best day for this strategy. If you guys are using the 9 EMA, it is not useful in a sideways market. You want to see an uptrend, you want to see a strong trend either to the upside or honestly even the downside. And that's when you want to be using this strategy. So today was another nice day for the strategy, a nice $2,200 day. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter where I'll post these profits, I'll post my trades. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you, if you enjoyed the video, press that like button, press that bell notification, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.